on March 29, I decided to take a break from working on my thesis. I really needed a break, so I went to the launch of a book. The book is a translation work by my good friend Victor Denis Nierva, and it was going to be held inside this university right here that I am walking to. I had to park outside because parking inside the campus was already full and my parking privileges here have been expired since the pandemic, I believe. This university is where I graduated from college. This is where my parents also graduated from college and where my brother and sister also graduated from college. My son used to go here until the pandemic hit and he decided to go a different way. This university is quite historic. You can look it up online, but I will leave links for you in the description box. I also have an older vlog about me walking through this campus on a particular day many many years ago in which it was deserted it's not deserted now in fact i believe it's their intramurals so everyone is here in full energy let me just turn on the original sound as i'm walking to where the book launch is supposed to be That wooden building over there is very old. That's already here when my parents were still studying here in the 1970s. And I remember that tree and the concrete seating around it. That's been there when I was in college and I'm really so glad that they don't actually cut down trees here. So I kind of lost my way looking for a Lino building. <laughs> I've been in that building before, but I forgot where it was. Most of these buildings here did not exist when I was a college student here. The expansion has been amazing, but this building right here with a red brick wall is called Burns Hall. And this was already here when I was in college here. And when I was attending college here, it was not a university yet. It was only a college at that time called Atneo Dinaga. It became a university right before our batch graduated. And so now it's the Ateneo Dinaga University. Brava for the Jesuits who have been managing this university for many decades. Just a little background on the book. Victor did a translation of the book called A Pilgrim's Journey. It is the autobiography of St. Ignatius of Loyola. St. Ignatius was born in 1491 in Spain and died in 1556 in Rome. He was canonized in 1622. St. Ignatius is the founder of the Jesuit order, which was approved by Pope Paul III in 1540. The book, The Pilgrim's Journey, like I said, is an autobiography, so of course it's been written by St. Ignatius himself. It has been translated before, but this time Victor has translated the book into the Beagle language. And the book has been published by the Ateneo de Naga University Press. The manuscript was acquired by the press director at the time, which was Father Wilmer Tria. Of course, he's a Jesuit. But this event is not organized or hosted or coordinated at all by the publisher. This event is actually hosted by the Ateneo de Naga University 
Office of Mission and Identity, which handles the Ignatian Formation Program. I will link their website down below. But this book, this Beacle translation of the autobiography of St. Ignatius, is right up their alley. The publisher itself, which is no longer being headed by Father Wilmer, has nothing to do with this event. It is very, very strange. Anyway, here we are finally where the book launch is going to be held. And it is so nice that every single person here gets their own small table. And later on during the program, I will show you why. It's because people actually are taking notes. This is the program of events. As you can see here, this is actually a spiritual event specially designed for a certain religious order. I will treat this, therefore, as a safe space and I will not film so, so much. Just a few seconds of every part just to give you an idea of how the event went down. program got closer to the actual book signing, I went ahead and bought my copy <laughs> before everyone else began to line up. Aside from Victor's book, they were also selling this one. It's a, a Bicol translation of another spiritual text originally written by St. Ignatius. And this one here is Victor's book. People who buy both books during this event get a discount on both books, so I bought both of the books. And then I sat beside Victor and our good friend Joseph, who is the director of the university choir, the one that you have seen performing earlier. Joseph is also one of my three voice teachers. He's very, very good at what he does. And then Victor signed my copy of his book, and I also spent some time chatting with Victor and Joseph about all sorts of things. And by this time, the event was already winding down after some group work by the participants. I didn't join the group work because it was not required of us. And I also did not want to intrude on the other people who I knew would be sincere in their spiritual sharing because I had nothing spiritual to share. I would just feel like an intruder there. So I just stayed here with Victor and Joseph. 
And finally, at the end of everything, here is Victor sharing some words on his process and the translation work. Sa ina ko makakahanap ng labigadayupot ng mga tataramo, tanganing may pahayag at pagkadayupot sa Diyos. Sa kaagi-agi na sa Ignacio, sinasudol kita na sa buto ng paghirap. Kung kaya, huwag man akong... Ano mga bagay na ini? Huwag kong namati is journey. Dikit-dikit ko yung impact translate ng translation po na yung nangyari sa rokawan ko. Hindi halawin ng panahon. Years actually. Because I didn't intend it to be a book. But just, you know, something that I would always go back to in my prayers. Naging murug pang pagkadayupot. Uli na namin ikwidad po ang saraw sa mga paborito kong santo sa tatarawan na ginagamit po sa pag-ugat at sa liyo. Kung nakukuro na si Giyuman ang pagkayuhan ng magbasa sa libro, ang aruan daw na pagbasa ganun man sa napag-recollection, pag-retiro, kulit na daw ang nangyayin ng sarong saysay buhay o biography, ang sentro pa nga ang pasulipot niya ang pag-uragnan at paglakbay niya, ang periklimasyon, ang dalag na inagihan, ang mga istasyon na inuntupan, ang mga balawag na ina. I have to say that this is a really nice event hosted by the Ateneo Danaga University Office of Mission and Identity. And Victor really appreciated it as well. Later on that day, he posted his thoughts on his Facebook wall about how he really liked that the event focused on the subject of the book, which is the teachings of St. Ignatius, and did not focus much on the actual book and on the author and the modes of production. <laughs> I will share a link to that Facebook post down below because Vic has set that post to public. So now I'm going to walk back the same way. I'm leaving you now with the original sound once more. This is what intramurals sounds like.